Hello guys, this is Kang. On 16th of March, they did a patch for BRS reward increase. They increased 1.33 time of the rewards in BRS. And our experience today, I had a two BRS. One lasts 13 minutes, another one lasts 11 minutes. So we have one problem now, is the Adana coins. So I'm gonna explain you how to get the maximum Adana coin within the limited time in the Great Desert. And some tips for the saving the water. The most important thing for Adana coin farming is the temple. We have monthly renew our temples. We have to clear everything. This month we have 27 temples, including 24 normal temple and 3 great temple. So those temples give you a lot of Adana coins and the other rewards. So every month you must clear all the temples, including great temples. This is the basic one. And number two is the elephant. I am currently have the red elephant, royal elephant. This is the best elephant out of uh, yellow and orange and red. And you can save a lot of time in the great desert when you farm the Adana coins. If you don't have red elephant, you save up the metal as fast as possible and then just get the yellow elephant. It still helps you saving the times in the great desert. So the difference between the elephant, yellow elephant doesn't have boost and you can excavate on ride and it costs 1000 metal. An orange elephant, it has the boost, but you can't excavate on ride, and it costs 5,000 coins. Red elephant, you can get it from field drop, the broken trumpet, or you have to buy from the market. The market price is 80 billion. You might think this is very, very expensive, but I think it's worth it. The reward you get from the red elephant, actually much more worth it than silver. And the number three, people asking the Altara run is better or excavation run is better. The answer is Altara run for now. So Altara run is you make a route for few Altara and you clear the monster and you offer the Altara and you move to the next one. And then you doing keep doing the same thing. On the way to move the next Altara, when you see Kureba or Turtle Dragon, you have to defeat and also the excavations. The excavation run is you not going through the Altara, you make your own route, like a big route, and you focus on excavation. Also on the way, when you see Kreba or Turtle Dragon, you defeat. The pro for Altar Run is you can say you can farm a lot of Adana coins, and also you can get the Temple Entry Pass. And from that temple entry path, you also can get some some more Adana coins. Home for Altar Run is you can't increase your excavation level of your life skill. When you look at my life skill in excavations, I'm expert level seven. But those guys who is pro and Arisans, they focus on excavations. Pro for excavation run, you don't get affected by hard type. Also, when your excavation level is going up, you can get more rewards. And con is, of course, Adana coins. You get lesser Adana coin than Altar run, especially when your excavation level is low. This is the Adana coin you can get from the prize by the grade of the item. And one tip for the excavation run, if you want to do excavation run, you must buy the costume in the shop 
which is desert costume. It gives you 50% more XP on desert excavations and reduce 20% of the stamina. But when you do altar run, you don't really need this costume. So for now, I'm telling you guys to do altar run more than excavation run because we need more Adana coins. And number four, the tips for the altar run. The first tip is the hard time scroll. So currently we have the event that we can get the reward box for the Great Desert, which is this one. So this one including 100% Great Desert hot time 40 minutes and then one purified water. So for this reward is almost finished, but I believe the people who watch my video, they exchange to this one. Because hot, with the hot time scroll, you can get more Adana coins in the same time. And number two for the altar run tip is the calling your ride before your offer. If you look at this, before I offer in the altar, I call the elephant first. You might think this is not much difference, but when you actually do the altar run, it makes a lot different. And another tip for the desert time, you must use the use the tent when you offer in the BRS. So after the update, BRS lasts quite long time now. Like today I got 13 minutes, 11 minutes. If you don't get into the tent, you're gonna waste for waste the time when you offer. So when you defeat the light tent, you don't have to install the tent. But when you offer in the BRS, you must install the tent first. Now you don't need to rush to get into the BRS because people gonna run out their coin very shortly. And when you defeat the light ten, you can also get Adana coins, 1.2 to 1.5k coins each time. So you try to defeat the light ten as much as possible. The next tip, if you wanna make your own altar run route, this is the map for the altar locations. You can make your own, but there is some condition for the good altar run route. One, is there a Kreba or Turtle Dragon or Excavation a lot on your route? If you just keep doing the altar run, you can maximize the coin within your time, the time that you spend. So you should have Kreba and Turtle Dragon Excavation on the way when you move to Altara to Altara. I'm gonna show you how much coin I can get in 30 minutes with the 100% hot time. So I'm gonna start it when I get to the first Altara. And my coin is 170.806k now. So I'll start it now because I see the Kreba. Yeah. 75 years late. I have farmed with the 100% hot time in Great Desert almost 35 minutes. On the middle, the recording program got crashed, so I couldn't fully record. But roughly, I got 35 minutes farming with the 100% hot time scroll. So now I have 198.415k Adana coins which is I get I earn about 28.4k in 35 minutes. So I reckon one hour I can get 50k with the 100% hard time scroll. And the last tip is the item quest. When you farm in the Great Desert, you're gonna get these items from the mob. So this item give you quest, defeat the Naga, uh, Desert Naga for like 500, 700, and you're gonna get the rewards. It also gives you Adana coins, so don't forget to use when you farm in the Great Desert. So maximum you can use three at the same time. I'm currently using Great Desert, Naga, and Enemy Defeat in the Great Desert at the same time. So this is all about the farming the Adana coins, saving the time, and some tips, and maximize the coin farming. So if this video is helpful, please press subscribe and likes 
and any question just leave on the comment thank you for watching i'll see you guys later bye bye